Hi guys, welcome to this system. I'm gonna trash this wallpaper with Alt T, and that's a better one, right? <laughs> so, where am I on? I am on a machine that's based on Arch Linux, but actually, I'm on a, a rolling ISO, a rolling release of the Sierra. So, ISO code name is Sierra. Basically, it's an Arch with. Um, Let's see, XD with CHADWM. I have left WM, I have XFCE. This is my personal need at this point in time, 2023. Give me XFCE, give me left WM, and give me CHDWM, and I'm happy. Topic of the video is System D. So, in this particular setup, which you can follow on ariser.eu, right? That's the website where you get all the information but not specifically about Sierra, but about the riser, which is just a fork of it, is that you choose system D. Well, I did, right? File system, boot, loader, entries, all of this, this is a system D boot. And you know what it is? It's the, the black thing when you boot up, maybe we can find an image system D skip this step can we just stop this step <laughs> system d boot slash minus boot okay let's see here are already some images so we're talking about this kind of boot up and it's not gonna be fancy it's not gonna be nice there's no arch logo anywhere to be seen right it's the system d boot system for u efi systems not for bias not for the old machines but for the UEFI or EFI systems. There was a question of a user that says, okay, ArchWiki, what should I do if I want to pass some kernel, some parameters to the kernel? So ArchWiki systemd boot. And then you start reading everything. Systemd boot, installing it and so on. Now in a riser, everything is taken care of how it's installed right the, the only thing is the after rebooting they tell you you have an amd you have an intel you have an nvidia you should add something to and normally you would say you would add something to grub right and everything about grub is also explained on the arch wiki grub if you want to pass some elements you need to change the etc default and inside the the, the grub file there you need to change something add something so also this is explained in this particular um, well web page here but let's restrict ourselves to system D boot so the loader configuration is in the wherever it is so ESP is not and an, it's explained somewhere up here it's just a holding place ESP if you type it in it's not actually something right ESP will donate the denote sorry the ESP mount point so it's actually replaced the variable kind of with that one or that one in our case it's boot this assumes that you have shrouded in the system and so on right okay that's arch shoot that's something else so inside boot there is this let's have a look around EFI we have this this is empty and then this from systemd boot and then we get the loader this is for us this of course should be present otherwise we don't have a kernel we don't have the intel u code or the amd u code and these are all fall uh, back so fall back and then the in its initial rem file system for linux and then the loader so these guys we can edit these guys so let's open up sublime text here so timeout i'm using one i don't need to wait five seconds for the thing to boot up and if i want to go into my firmware i'll just quickly press the arrow down and I'll be in it. Default, we have the archlinux.conf. So basically it's going to the entries, archlinux.conf. And this is where it comes interesting. So if there are things you should say to this particular Linux kernel, then there is an options line. Let's make this bigger with super F. You can start typing all kinds of things behind here. Of course, we can't type rubbish. So whatever you they advise you whatever you read for solutions and stuff like that you type it behind there so 
and like I've given the advice to someone on Discord, System D boot, right, is not just for Arch. System D boot is also interesting for uh, on Gen 2, for example, and we saw a great explanation there too. So read System D boot Gen 2 wiki. And here as well, they say, look, you can add some things. You can tell the system here to be quiet. Launch me this Linux kernel with that init rhyme file system with those options. And it's about the options that we're talking, right? It's so if anybody says you should add this or that or that, I think my, my line would be this one. Because the quiet is a variable we tell also in grub line. So add anything else you think that might be interesting. And for more options, there may be something in here as well. Oh, has moved to the wrong group website. So this is the first time I have clicked that, but maybe there are some things in here. But because I remember when I was two years back on trying Gen 2 as a project in the holidays, right? I remember there was a great article with all the possible kernel parameters that you could pass. And that's, of course, interesting to read. So this is also a wiki, right? And if you're long enough on, on Arch, you know that uh, down here there are references. And sometimes we're sent to Gen 2, sometimes we're sent to somewhere else, but that's it, right? Th this is Linux after all. It's about system debut. It's not about Arch specifically. So anything that you'll find, solutions that you'll find for your hardware, try them out. Don't restrict yourselves in the search to a specific kind of distro, right? Think about other things, the bootloader here as well. Uh, so keep reading, keep reading and testing it out. If anything fails, as maybe something interesting to end with, there is something called Arch Shroot. And yes, of course, type Arch Wiki behind it. But this thing, this Shroot thing is awesome. You can reinstall the bootloader if something happens. You can rebuild the init RAM file system. So if you get stuck and you have an unbootable system, this is the thing to do. Read about shrouting or arch shroud is the package. And um, it's going to explain all kinds of things, but you know what you need to do. You type Arco Linux. And then let's try shroud or arch shroud, right? Then use the power of Arch Root when your computer crashes. Fix your Arch Linux or Arch Linux computer with these two tips and videos and videos and videos. You know the drill, we have hundreds of videos. From time to time, we have to do that. As simple as that. Remember September 2022, grew up issue, right? We had to shroot. But again, it takes, I don't know, two minutes after, after a while and you have back your system. So Arch Root is something interesting to learn even if it's just watching the video right now. Okay, so that's my advice. System Deboot, you go and edit files. Where are the files? Well, here, eh? so you need to type something behind here. This is the Arch Linux conf. There is a fallback, so maybe you wanna experiment with a fallback, maybe first, before you could do this one, I don't know. And this is just a terminal, meaning I'm just gonna boot up in a black terminal, so no no desktop available. So these are the options we have in a riser. So it's either this one you're gonna change. I'm gonna delete this text, of course. I'm not gonna save anything anyway. So close without saving, everything works just fine. Keep off Eric, otherwise, right? You have an unbootable system. So make sure you have you set everything right. You do your check, do your reading. And if it fails, arch root and go back in there, delete whatever you've added and, and try again. All right. Cheers.